Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is a CM Storm Zornet gaming mouse. And for those who don't know, CM Storm is the eSports brand of Cooler Master, and they produce peripherals and cases that are aimed for the gamers. And uh, the CM Storm Zornet is a budget version of the previously released CM Storm Spawn mouse, and they actually share the same shell and uh, similar size, but of course the internal and some of the physical characteristics are different. The CM Storm Zornet is available for $29.99 US dollars in North America and uh, conveniently in Europe it's not $29.99 Euro but rather 19 euros. So that's, uh, that is very good, that's a very good price for a uh, gaming mice, for a basic gaming mice since uh, the, the average, the lowest price gaming mice available in the market is around $39.99 US dollars or 39 euros. So uh, these CM Storm Zornet it will be very welcomed by budget-minded gamers. And here in the front, you can see that the CM Storm Zornet uh, packaging is uh, sporting the CM Storm color theme. You have a black box with red and white uh, color accents in there, and a preview of the CM Storm Zornet uh, on the front cover, and a better preview with the uh, protective plastic shell covering it. Of course, before we jump into that, let's take a glance at the promotional information and uh, let's try to decipher uh, through some of the PR uh, rhetoric. You have the uh, Omicron macro switches, 5 million clicks, which is a something that the CM Storm Zornet shares with the CM Storm Spawn. They, uh, they both have these long life uh, micro switches which can withstand plenty of gaming sessions and of course it has a DPI on the fly switch right on top it has optical LED and uh, since the Zornet only well I say only because uh, I'm not uh, saying that that's not enough but as I mentioned in my previous review most users would, wouldn't would really have any use for anything higher than 2000 DPI so 2000 DPI is uh, very good already for the Zornet it goes up to 2000 DPI with the sensor and uh, I think this is the AVA a Vego ADNS 3050, the first of its kind, first mouse of its kind to that I know of in North America to use that uh, that uh, sensor. Now the CM Storm Spawn has uh, goes up to 3500 DPI, and it uses the AV a Vego ADNS 3090, and uh, we'll see. But uh, the CM Storm Spawn is, has a very good sensor, and uh, is well received by uh, by plenty of gamers. So we'll see how well the CM Storm. Zornet with its Avego ADNS 3050 LED sensor stacks up later on in our, when we do our test. And for now, let's uh, let's see what else we've missed here on the promotional information. It has the same rubberized anti-slip design. And uh, one thing I noticed is that uh, unlike the CM Storm Spawn, it doesn't have the uh, Japanese-made uh, scroll wheel. And uh, that's not really a, a big deal breaker for $29.99. Uh, it still has the Omron micro switches and it has a very good sensor underneath. Well, at least on paper. We'll see later when we do our test. And uh, let's see here what it says. High precision optical sensor with anti-drift control. And for those in the know, of course, uh, anti-drift control, it's kind of a PR slang for uh, prediction and angle snapping. And uh, most pro gamers do not like that. But uh, it says here, just like the Samsung Spawn, it can be disabled. Angle snapping can be enabled or disabled for exact swift crosshair movement. Of course, you'd want to disable that. I'm assuming through the software that you can download for the Zornet. Same Storm Spawn has a custom software as well. We'll see that later as we go on to the rest of the review. And uh, just a quick explanation of what uh, uh, of what uh, prediction is for those who don't know. A uh, what uh, with mass movements are basically smoothed out with the uh, the hardware in there. And uh, while it makes uh, makes using it in Windows easier and uh, just kind of like uh, when you're playing console and kind of like auto aim you don't want that when you're uh, when you're gaming because sometimes it uh, it makes decisions for you and it it moves it where you don't want it to go so uh, you want your movements to be as precise as possible so disabling the anti-drift control is uh, a lot of gamers want that uh, that feature uh, or at least have the option of disabling that feature and see some more uh, box and see if we're missing any information here. Uh, here in the back, just a quick table of specifications. 
Here we have force measure already 2000 dpi, the on the fly adjustments in three steps 500, 1000, and 2000. The CM Storm spawn can do 800, 1200, and 3500. Yeah, uh, 800, 1200, and was it 1800 or 3200 if I recall correctly. Now the uh, Evago ADNS 3050 has a default DPI of 1000, but it can go up to 2000 DPI and up to 160 IPS and 23G of acceleration. And uh, that is actually very high 160 compared to CM Storm Spawn with only 60. And let's see the 1000 Hz polling rate, 16 bit USB data path, right hand ergonomic claw design, similar since they share the same shell as a CM Storm Spawn. Rubberized anti-slip design, Teflon feet, and the cable length is 75 meters. And uh, since it shares the same shell as the same from Spawn, they have the same dimensions at 75 by 107 by 35 millimeter. Now, one thing I've noticed is that I'm, I don't know why manufacturers don't put in the weight of the mouse in the back. Uh, checking the uh, CM Storm website, I recall that it has 140, it's 142 grams. And it's actually, it looks like it's actually, that's actually heavy for a mouse this size. Uh, there are mice that are actually small, that are about uh, 100 grams. But it's 142 grams for a mouse like th this size. That's, uh, that's, that's not too light. But uh, I'm sure it's light enough because since the average mice is about 160 grams. Let's see this uh, once we open the box already right here at the bottom. We can find the quick start guide. It is a full color quick start guide. You have the introduction there and just some more product features in multiple languages. Of course, for software download, please, please visit CMStorm Zornet. And you have the, there's an overview of the switches here. Uh, there's seven, seven switches similar to CMStorm Spawn. And uh, the specifications on the website state that they, there are only five programmable buttons. So I'm assuming the DPI switches cannot be assigned to any other uh, button assignment, unlike the CM Storm Spawn. So let's pull out this box and uh, make sure nothing is inside. There's no drivers or anything. So just like the manual said, go to the CM Storm website to download drivers. Here in form fitting uh, packaging, we have the CM Storm Zornet. And let's move that aside. See the very long cable there. And here it is, the CM Storm Zornet out of the box. And quickly we see just how small this mouse is. And uh, just measures about just a little over 10 centimeters in length. It's fairly light too. It says 160, or rather 142 grams in the specifications. But I'm pretty sure that includes the cable weight. Uh, so I, from the way it moves, I'm guessing it's around 90, 90 grams. So it's, this, that's not too bad. It's not the lightest mouse, but it's still fairly light. And here you can see the uh, how the claw grip works. You have rest your pinky finger in here, and or rather your ring finger rests over the Zornet area. And you grip it like this, or claw grip. And uh, I thought initially that it would take some time for me to get used to that, since I am a a palm grip user, always had, and thought it would would take some time for me to learn that. But it I adapted rather quickly because of the of the mostly because of the, the way that there is a, a a ring finger rest in there. It really helps a lot. Plus your pinky actually touches the entire side here so it it actually holds it in place and and has more force rather than the usual way which you, where you use your pinky your ring finger so this way and uh, you can see you can hear the uh, Omron micro switches it feels like a feels a bit that there's more travel compared to other clicks it's not too bad I don't know if it uh, it feels heavy uh, maybe if it's just my fingers and because I'm quite heavy-handed when I'm clicking and you have the DPI switch on top. The default is 1000. It goes up to 2000 or back down to 500. And the scroll wheel, you can't really feel the notches in there. It feels very like continuous and smooth. Just one grip like that. That might be a con, might be a pro, depending on your play style. And uh, you can see the side as well is rubberized, as well as the left side. It really helps with the grip. 
your pinky and I like the way that they laid it out because it completely covers the side of my pinky and this one completely covers the side of my thumb and it also has plenty of room for my thumb to be placed there without touching the uh, back and forward buttons although a little bit uh, nitpick is that I would have hoped that the back and forward buttons were just uh, moved back a few millimeters because I'm as I'm going to show uh, if you're holding it straight forward like this with, with your if your hand is straight forward you might hit the the back button whenever you're clicking see how close it is so what I do is I actually hold it like this facing almost inward uh, to my body when I'm playing so that I can hit that hit the side buttons cleanly just a minor nitpick and also uh, here um, as you can see there is no band protection here for fraying similar to other mice such as this as you can see now that that see, looks minor but uh, for something like this uh, a mice that will be used uh, for when, whenever you're uh, land, participating in land parties and it's just a small mice it is quite portable you will be uh, putting it inside your bag and uh, you know it can get bent and can get damaged just a just a minor nitpick and also the CM Storm spawn also lacks that feature so that that I hope that uh, that cooler master would have uh, fixed it by the time the zone it came out but uh, it still it doesn't have the cable protection just a little bit of a, a little con there and as you can see the red only LED here is the optical LED sensor underneath kind of refreshing after seeing so many uh, laser sensors they group back to optical is a very reliable sensor is a Vega ADNS 3050 the tracking is actually quite smooth no matter what surface I'm on I'm, I have the I have the thermal take a dasher mouse pad here and it's a smooth uh, cloth surface and I've encountered some problems with some laser sensors but there are no issues at all with tracking with the Samsung Zornet now as for the rest of the review and my opinions on the CM Storm Zornet. You can read the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com and uh, you can see there my opinion and just how how the CM Storm Zornet performs including uh, lift off distance and angle prediction and uh, oh, I forgot to mention the the software there actually is no software for this I've checked the website and I've called Cooler Master rather I, I emailed them and they've told me that the the information on the manual is actually a typo it, they actually mean firmware instead of software so in firmware future firmware updates you will be able to disable the angle snapping or in prediction if you are the type of player that does not like that and uh, right now there is no software so there really, you can't really reprogram the other buttons while you're in when you're in windows but uh, that is not an issue I actually prefer mice that uh, that don't require drivers so I tried also installing a CM Storm uh, spawn software and see if it will detect the CM Storm Zornet, but uh, it didn't work. So, and uh, that's not a big problem. I was just hoping that uh, just to show that maybe if I can, it can run that program using the CM Storm Zornet that I could disable the angle snapping in there and also adjust some of the features, even if I couldn't bind some of the buttons to a different function. If you are a fan of CM Storm products or just a fan of giveaways in general, then you are in luck. Because for the first half of the month of November, we are giving away six CM Storm products to celebrate the birthday of our site founder and editor-in-chief, Paul Marini. And uh, to see the details on how to enter, just go to www.hitechlegion.com slash forum. That is forum without an S. So www.hitechlegion.com slash forum. Click on the contest section and click on the HL and Cooler Master Backdraft birthday giveaway contest thread to see the details. As for the rest of the review, just uh, click on the link down below to read the rest of my review and subscribe to our YouTube channel at uh, www.youtube.com slash hightechlegion so you can keep track of our latest releases and latest reviews. Thanks for watching and see you later.